Here we go, part two of the uh, FM transmitter project. So what I added um, to the previous setup is the uh, LCD screen and I moved <coughs> the output of the uh, menu to the uh, display. So right now uh, the FM transmitter has the jack hooked to the uh, phone the phone is playing YouTube music and I have the output is a 50 ohm here through the coax it goes all the way to this 50 ohm and we can see that it's on the oscilloscope that uh, it's outputting at 97.1 frequency stabilized with the PLL chip here that uses this crystal for accurate uh, stabilization because oscill um, oscillators will drift without uh, without a locked loop phase locked loop uh, to stabilize the VCO now um, here you can hear the FM radio on this phone I have the FM chip which is set on 97.1 and you can listen to it right now there is no antenna so it's actually because I'm near the transmitter it's picking up the signal it's capable of outputting 17 to 18 volts peak to peak that's about 0 0.8 watt if we do the math on a 50 ohm load so here now we can show how it actually works so you can change uh, the frequency um, I mean select which number to change increment we can select that now we're, we can set the frequency we can start pressing and it will decrease or increase the frequency so let's set it to a different frequency and check that out it's 98.1 megahertz if we press this button it's going to save it and and it's going to tell the arduino nano to um, serially communicate that transfer the the information to control this chip to change the frequency of the vco so let's press validate and you can hear the radio is gone we can see now it's set the frequency on the oscilloscope moved to 98.1 now if I go here to this radio and if I change to 98.1 megahertz we should have the signal back I guess I can show a little bit about the software um, trying to explain if I could <laughs> it's a bit of vault that's why I don't know if it's a so I developed a um, PLL controller which is the library for actually communicating with the uh, SAA 1057 Philips PLR FM tuner this library um, I wrote myself there is no library anywhere that's open source you can use for this for the Arduino and then uh, develop the menu 
library here. And the menu so far is just um, those three buttons menu, which has well, basically this menu class in the namespace FM transmitter. So here, I mean, the menu is basically, um, I designed the menu class right here. It's The code is written in C++ because the Arduino uses C++. And I use um, this uh, Linux tool for editing and writing. G G Genie, I guess. I don't know how to spell it. Genie or Genie. Um, I think it's this Genie or Genie using Ubuntu here. So basically, it's a bit involved. I'm not gonna go in the depth of the detail, but just briefly explain. So the PLL uh, controller will take three pins the pins that are actually on the Arduino that correspond to the PLM which are going to be the uh, enable data and, uh, and the clock signal. The communication is serial but um, again there is no actually library for it so I ended up having to go through the whole data sheet and figure out how to develop this library. So it's basically a firmware Let's, we can call it as a firmware for this. So now I can package this whole thing, put a box on it, do a 3D printing or with SolidWorks and then I can sell the entire thing as a product. <laughs> so it's software, hard um, electronics, PCB design and, um, and mechanical design for a box. Say, to just make it aesthetic and and uh, for the consumer and that's all I guess I don't really want to go any any further but just so that you can appreciate uh, the code <laughs> there's quite a bit of code here um, these are low level really um, and then preparing this so it's just basically the chip has a register a large register that has to be programmed through a serial communication. You have three pins, you have to uh, program them and you have to follow the data sheet how, how they have to be come, how the signals have to be uh, passed and the timings. You have to get the timing accurate and that's all. The data sheet is pretty good. Anyways, um, that's it.